Well, good afternoon, Tipton Baptist Church. It's Friday, uh, April 24th. Uh, I would wanted to just send a message out to you since I can't see you in person or talk with you very much. Um, I wanted to send a note of encouragement to you as we close out our week and as we're looking forward to Sunday for our time of worship and being in the Word together. Um, I was watching the news the other day and I heard one of the newscasters on the six o'clock evening news, the primetime news, uh, really speak a lot of fear into her newscast. And and it started to really get at me. And I wanted to just have a voice that's out on the airwaves and on a video screen that can be heard, that's a voice that carries truth and a voice that carries confidence in God and a voice that carries hope because of his word. And so what I just wanted to do is I wanted to read you a couple of verses that might just do that, evoke hope and confidence because it's true. I'm reading from Psalm chapter 103, looking at verses 17 through 19. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. I really desire to have this as our heart set and our mind set in confidence as we watch the news, as we wait to get back together in fellowship again as the body. And as a pastor, even though it's only an interim role, I really want you to be encouraged with truth that evokes hope and brings us back into confident trusting in God. The God of the universe has established his throne in heaven. It's established, not moved ever and can't be. And his kingdom rules over all, including the kingdoms of earth and all the rulers in all those kingdoms. His throne is established. His kingdom rules. His will, his purposes will stand, can't be taken, can't be thwarted, can't be crushed or shaken. That's our God. And so when I hear newscasters cast fear um, and use words that really evoke in people emotion of hesitancy, And second-guessing, let's not be a church that second-guesses the truth that God has established his throne in heaven. And nothing that happens on any day since the beginning of God's created time of earthly time, nothing's gone outside of his will. He's still in control. We can trust him. He governs everything. He is God. If something happened that he wasn't aware of, he would no longer be God. And we know that's not true. So take encouragement from his word. As we finish the week and go into Sunday, remember that his mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. Remember on those who fear and reverence him, his righteousness pours into them as we are Christ-like because of trusting in him and drawing close to him. And that that uh, mentality and that heart set and that conviction pours out into our children and to their children. That's what we as a church are to do and to be because of the hope we have and trust and confidence we have in truth. So let this be a reminder. Be confident. Have a sense of settledness in an unsettling time because of the king who we know is still in control. I hope this finds you well. I hope this gives you encouragement as we get into Sunday's worship. And uh, may God bless you as you commit to the truths in his word, uh, even here in Psalm 103, verses 17 to 19. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless.